In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Litany of Saint Joseph. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Christ graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Renowned offspring of David, Pray for us, light of patriarchs. Pray for us, spouse of the mother of God. Pray for us, chaste guardian of the virgin. Pray for us, foster father of the son of God. Pray for us, diligent protector of Christ. Pray for us, head of the holy family. Pray for us, Joseph most just. Pray for us, Joseph most chaste. Pray for us, Joseph most prudent. Pray for us, Joseph most brave. Pray for us, Joseph most obedient. Pray for us, Joseph most faithful. Pray for us, pattern of patience. Pray for us, lover of poverty. Pray for us, model of workers. Pray for us, example to parents. Pray for us, guardian of virgins. Pray for us, pillar of family life. Pray for us, comfort of the troubled. Pray for us, hope of the sick. Pray for us, patron of the dying. Pray for us, terror of demons. Pray for us, protector of the church. Pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. God made him the master of his household and prince over all his possessions. Let us pray. O God, in your ineffable providence, you were pleased to choose blessed Joseph to be the spouse of your most holy mother. Grant, we beg you, that we may be worthy to have him for our intercessor in heaven, whom on earth we venerate as our protector. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O Saint Joseph, spouse of Mary, Virgin Father of God's Son, show us how to love and serve them till our life on earth is done. You obey the angel's message, docile to God's will alone. As you let them go to safety, guide us to our heavenly home. You, the carpenter most humble, Jesus learned from you this trait. Help us work with true devotion, all for God or love were made. Noble son of royal David, just and faithful, chaste and true, teach us how to live with courage, share with Christ his glory too. Mm -hmm. 
Mother Angelica, the foundress of EWTN, once said that what we see and what we read makes us what we are. Mother knew how important it was to watch programs and read books that would deepen our devotion to Jesus and living the Christian life. In her book, In His Sandals, Mother Angelica offers practical wisdom to guide us on our journey toward holiness. In a special summer offer, you can get this uplifting book, along with Dr. Ray Garendi's Jesus, the Master Psychologist, and The Contemplative Rosary by Dan Burke and Connie Rossini, with a donation of $100 or more to EWTN. Inspirational books like these will help you grow closer to Jesus and reflect His light to others. And your donation will support EWTN's mission of proclaiming the eternal word. You can get all three books for a donation of $100 or more today. To take advantage of this offer, please visit EWTN.com books or you can call us at 1-800-447-EWTN. Online and phone donations only, please. Quantities are limited, so make your gift today. Live Truth, Live Catholic with Trusted Series features and specials from EWTN Home Video. The EWTN Home Video highlight for July is the Rosary for Life DVD and the Blessed is the Nation Rosary for America special. The Rosary for Life program, led by Father Joseph Mary Wolf, contains special meditations for the protection of all human life. Also included is this unique collector rosary from Gorelli, featuring a special crucifix with red and blue enamel stars and stripes on the front and one nation under God on the back. We remember that God is the Father of all and that He loves each one born and pre-born with a Father's love. Order your rosary DVD set at EWTNRC.com 24 hours a day, 7 days a week or call 1-800-854-6316. Learn about the channels of grace available through Christ's Church every weekday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern. Each day, a different show, a different host centered on the sacraments. Monday, Sister Joan Noreen takes us on a Eucharistic journey with Franciscan saints. Tuesday, Father Brian Milady explains how we draw closer to God with the seven sacraments. Wednesday, Father Marius Koch reflects on what the scriptures reveal about Christ's real presence in the Eucharist. Thursday, explore church history with Father Charles Connor as God's wisdom is revealed in the sacraments through the ages. And Friday, from Old Testament times to modern day, Father Frederick Miller looks at the priesthood of Jesus Christ. Spend a grace-filled week with the sacraments Monday through Friday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern on EWTN. I can practice my faith, I can go to a church as long as I don't belong to that church. The truth be told, I was fascinated by the Mass. We had no intention of joining the church. In fact, we were saying we're going to find out what is not true so that we can say no. <laughs> the sacramental life has been just such a source of enrichment. Witness the Holy Spirit at work on Catholics Come Home, Sunday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern on EWTN. Have you heard the good news? Icons is on EWTN. 
Join Father Augustino, Angelus, and Innocent on the search for people reflecting the light of Christ in the world. In their everyday life, at work, at home, at school, they can be a witness to the Lord. Holiness is not the privilege of the few, but it is the gift of so many. We believe that people are living like this, and we're going to go find them. Icons, Friday at 10.30 p.m. Eastern on EWTN. EWTN. Live Truth. Live Catholic. Family, a prayer that we pray together is a powerful prayer. So please pray together with me our EWTN family prayer. Today we pray for those who are in nursing homes. Heavenly Father, we worship you. You love the thought of each one of us and wanted us to exist, and so you created us. Never let the lonely forget that you desired them to be. Shower your blessings upon those who are in nursing homes and make this time in their lives fruitful for eternity. Reveal your love to them, deepen their love for you, and unite their prayers and sufferings to those of Jesus for the salvation of the world. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood. Do this in memory of me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned 
in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my Holy Spirit's fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, author of innocence and lover of chastity, who bestowed the grace of martyrdom on your handmaid, the Virgin Saint Maria Goretti, in her youth, grant we pray through her intercession that as you gave her a crown for her steadfastness, so we too may be firm in obeying your commandments. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Israel is a luxuriant vine whose fruit matches its growth. The more abundant his fruit, the more altars he built. The more productive his land, the more sacred pillars he set up. Their heart is false. Now they pay for their guilt. God shall break down their altars and destroy their sacred pillars. If they would say, we have no king, since they do not fear the Lord, what can the king do for them? The king of Samaria shall disappear like foam upon the waters. The high places of Avon shall be destroyed, the sin of Israel. Thorns and thistles shall overgrow their altars. Then they shall cry out to the mountains, cover us, and to the hills, fall upon us. Sow for yourselves justice, reap the fruit of piety. Break up for yourselves a new field, for it is time to seek the Lord till he come and rain down justice upon you. The word of the Lord. Be seek always the face of the Lord. Seek always the face of the Lord. Sing to him, sing his praise, proclaim all his wondrous deeds. Glory in his holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds that he has wrought, his portents, and the judgments he has uttered. Your descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones. He, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you. Jesus summoned his 12 disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to drive them out and to cure every disease and every illness. The names of the 12 apostles are these. First, Simon called Peter and his brother Andrew, James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John. Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew the tax collector, James the son of Alphaeus and Thaddeus, Simon the Canaanian, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed Jesus. Jesus sent out these twelve after instructing them thus, do not go into pagan territory or enter a Samaritan town. Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. The gospel of the Lord. There was a young man who felt a strong calling to a divine vocation. This young man wanted to be a religious. And at that time, the mendicant orders were newly formed, such as the Franciscans, the Carmelites, and the Dominicans. So this young man felt a calling to join the order of preachers, also known as the Dominicans. Yet his family, his parents, his brothers, wanted him to join the Benedictine order. At that time, the Benedictines were very noble, prestigious. They had some influence in society. So the parents kept telling their child, who was discerning a religious vocation, join the Benedictines. It's God's will for you to join this specific religious order. But the young man kept telling them, no, I want to be a Dominican. I want to be a poor friar that begs for food. So eventually, because he didn't join the Benedictines, his parents, along with his brothers, they took him and they locked him in their family castle, a very cruel thing to do. And they locked him there until he wanted to join the Benedictines. Obviously, it would be a forced vocation. It wouldn't be a valid set of vows because his parents, they were forcing him to do this. So he was there, locked in their family castle, and his brothers thought of a plan to break him down so he would eventually join the Benedictine order. They hired a prostitute. So they took this woman and they went up to the room where this young man was locked in and they opened the door and they pushed this woman inside of the door and they locked it obviously to tempt him in impurity. So once this young man saw this woman who barely was wearing any clothes, the first thing this young man did, he took the iron that took the wood to move in a fireplace, he took that iron and ran that woman out of the room. Now his brothers they were watching through the window of that door and they saw what happened. So they quickly opened the door to let the woman out. And after the woman left, they closed the door and locked it. And that young man, he took that iron and he made the sign of the cross on that door with the heated iron. And at that moment, angels appeared to him 
and they girded him with a belt of chastity where he no longer was tempted in impurity for the rest of his life. Now, some of you know this story. The story is of St. Thomas Aquinas, one of the most intellectual saints in the history of the Catholic Church. And there's actually a, a confraternity, which I highly recommend. It's called the Angelic Warfare Confraternity for Catholics who are striving to live the virtue of purity and chastity in their life. The Dominicans run it. And I, I'm a member of the Angelic Warfare Confraternity. It's basically a, a Catholics all joining together to pray for purity, especially through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary and St. Thomas Aquinas. Now, why do I tell you a story as such, especially in the context of today's liturgy? Well, today we celebrate a saint of purity, St. Maria Goretti. Now, St. Maria Goretti was martyred at the age of 11. There was a young man who basically forced her, was forcing her to commit a sin of impurity. And of course, she didn't budge. She said, this was a sin, stop it. And eventually, Alessandro, this man, stabbed her 14 times around her neck. She was rushed to the hospital. She forgave him, and then she eventually died. St. Maria Goretti is a martyr for purity. It's someone we need to look to, especially nowadays, because we live in an over-sexualized society. I must say, even just driving from our general house in Kentucky down here to Alabama, there's so many temptations. These signs, these boards, there's these adult shops. Every time I see one of those signs, I try obviously not to look at it. Sometimes you can't help it. You just want to keep your eyes on the road, but they're just thrown into your face. I say the St. Michael prayer, that this adult shop, it's really for ch immature children, if anything, they're not adults. You know, they say this is for a mature audience. Are these people mature? I would say no. They're acting like kids, or they're not even at kids are even better than this, simply sinners. So we live in an over-sexualized society. Someone like St. Maria Goretti, St. Thomas Aquinas, we need to pray to and ask for their intercession because at times it's thrown into our face. Now, purity is not the highest virtue. It's not the most important virtue. Obviously, charity is. Love will always be the highest virtue. Yet, purity is absolutely necessary for our spiritual lives to grow, for us to be holy, for us to advance in the interior life. Matthew 5, blessed are the pure of heart, for they shall see God. Psalm 24, who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? The man with clean hands and a pure heart. Do you want to go to heaven? Do you want to become a saint? Hopefully the answer is absolutely yes. Then we have to live the virtue of purity. Now, a lot of people don't know exactly what purity is. They see and hear this word, but let's look at the catechism. Purity of heart will enable us to see God, obviously, as we read in sacred scripture, but also it enables us even now to see the things according to God. So if you want to discern God's will, if you want to live prudently, if you want to have this gift of counsel, of the Holy Spirit, you have to be pure of heart. For example, if someone is discerning a vocation, let's just say a young man, should I join the Franciscans at EWTN or the Fathers of Mercy? Okay, that's a, that's a good valid question. Well, those who are pure of heart, God will guide them. Maybe they'll say the Fathers of Mercy. Our superior would be happy if that's the case. Also, career choices. What college should you go to? Should I go? to the University of Alabama, Roll Tide in Tuscaloosa, or should I go to Franciscan University, Steubenville? It would seem like Steubenville would be the answer, yet there may be a mysterious way why God would call you to the University of Alabama, maybe to evangelize to people there. We don't know. 
the pure of heart will discern where God is calling them. Should you work for EWTN or be an entrepreneur? Maybe you could be both. So pure in heart refers to those who have attuned their intellects and wills to the demands of God's holiness. This comes from the catechism. And chiefly in three areas. One, charity. Two, chastity. And three, love of truth or orthodoxy of faith. You can't be pure of heart if you're a heretic, if you don't teach what the church teaches or believe in what the magisterium teaches us for our salvation. Now, purity just simply isn't the absence of lustful thoughts and actions. Obviously, that's part of it. Pure of heart is also in our intentions. So there's a thing called purity of intention that is doing everything for God's greater glory, doing it because it's his will. So usually at times when I'm preaching about purity, if it's like a Sunday mass, I would say, why are you here? Do you have a purity of intention, a rectitude of intention? Are you coming to Sunday mass only because your parents are forcing you to? Are you going to mass so people can see you put a $5 bill in the basket. Oh, you're really holy, if that's the case. Are you only going to Mass to be seen? Or are you only going to Mass because your wife or your spouse will get mad at you if you don't go with her? So we need to purify our intentions. You know, this reminds me of a story. My cousin is a priest in the Archdiocese of Los Angeles, and it was Ash Wednesday, one of the most busiest days, I think, more people probably go to Ash Wednesday Mass than maybe even Easter Sunday. It's hard to tell at times. He was distributing communion, and it was obviously more toward the end of Mass. And he saw a man come at the end of the line, and it was his turn to receive communion. So my cousin said, the body of Christ. And this man, what he did was he pointed his finger and he said, no, I don't want that. I want the black stuff and he was referring to the ashes in Ash Wednesday. He would rather have ashes on his forehead than the eternal living God, Jesus Christ, present in the most holy Eucharist. We always have to have purity of intention to do everything for God's greater glory and for the salvation of souls. Now, purity obviously includes chastity, and I must say, especially living in our culture today as a priest, as a religious priest, as someone who has took a vow of chastity, it is very difficult, especially as priests, at times to counsel people not to be discouraged, not to give in to despair. So many people, because of the modern technology that we have and because of social media, they get so addicted to all of these lustful things. So we know this, and I don't know, I know that I don't have to actually mention these things, but yet this is a big problem, not only in the church, but in society as a whole. Pornography, masturbation, fornication, homosexual acts, immodesty. I mean, Lord have mercy. I, I'm a missionary. Well, now I'm the rector, but I still preach, I travel. I can't even go to the airport. I have to practically look up and not look at eye level at times because there's so many people that are immodestly dressed. All of this, again, amplified because of social media and modern technology. So what is the best way to help us fight these temptations? Again, we can't practically drive without having these things thrown into our face. Never forget, Prayer and mortification. You can't leave one without the other. Prayer, self-denial, penance, making reparation for sins, ours and others, these two are needed to help fight against this over-sexualized culture. Flee from the occasions of sin. Whoever loves danger will perish by it. Now, if I may say something in terms of the spiritual life to help us, 
have custody of the eyes. It is not good to gaze upon something that you shouldn't have. St. Gregory the Great, it is not good to look at what is not licit to desire. So control what, you're, what you see. If you know that some television program or some internet app or whatever it is is going to tempt you in these sins, don't turn it on. Um, you really have to be careful. You have to do your research. Before I watch a movie, I look at Kids in Mind or Common Sense Media or IMDB to see uh, not only if there's any risque scenes, but whether or not they say God's name in vain. I will not tolerate that. So we have to be careful, especially nowadays, don't have this eye candy syndrome where you always gaze on what you want. It's like window shopping. They know they're not going to buy it if they're always gazing upon this through the window. Don't do that. Don't torture yourself. Likewise, we need to apply this to chastity. Now, along with that, there is a direct connection between lust and gluttony. Those who usually gorge themselves, and this is not simply with food, but also social media and the internet, like binge watching Netflix or Disney Plus, that's a bad sign for those who are trying to practice chastity and purity in their lives. Saint Jose Maria Escriva, he says, overeating is the forerunner of impurity. Now, if you think about it, our Lord, when he was here on this earth, he was accused of many things. He was accused of being a blasphemer, a glutton, a troublemaker, and even someone said he is out of his mind. But there is one thing he never tolerated in terms of someone accusing him of something, that is of impurity. He sealed their lips. He did not allow anyone to accuse him of not being pure. That's just how he sets the stage for all of us, how important this virtue is to live every single day. Now, what can we do along with prayer and mortification? Obviously, when we're talking about prayer, we want to gaze upon the sacred host. It's good to look, to contemplate the face of Christ in the Holy Eucharist. The more that we do that, the pure of heart we will be. Obviously, praying the rosary, meditating upon the mysteries of Christ and the fruits of Christ applied to Our Lady, such as her assumption, her coronation, and so forth. The more we do that, the more we'll have self-control. But along with that, and the spiritual authors, the some of the saints, meditate on the passion of Christ. Whenever I especially pray the scourging at the pillar, the second sorrowful mystery, I try to offer that mystery especially for purity, since some of the authors, the spiritual authors, the saints say that our Lord had to endure the scourging especially for sins of the flesh. So let us ask St. Maria Goretti, ask St. Thomas Aquinas, Our Lady, St. Good, St. Joseph, and of course our Lord to help us grow in this virtue. We ask our Lord in the silence of our hearts, Lord, grant us purity by your grace to want to seek you, to want to love you, to want to receive you in our life, because if we possess you, we possess everything. Let us pray in the name of Christ the Lord, the Son who enlightens all men and whose light will never fail us. For the outpouring of the Spirit's gifts of wisdom and understanding upon our Holy Father in his guidance of the Church, we pray to the Lord. For widows and orphans, for the marginalized and the oppressed, 
and for unborn children and their mothers. We pray to the Lord. Lord that the community in which we live may be able to reach out to young people who are hurt, depressed, or despairing. We pray to the Lord. Lord that those who have died in the peace of Christ may rejoice in eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord Almighty God, ruler of all things in heaven and on earth, listen favorably to the prayer of your people and grant us your peace in our day. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord sacrifice and your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the all the May the offerings we bring in celebration of Blessed Maria Goretti Win your gracious acceptance, O Lord, we pray, just as the struggle of her suffering and passion was pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr, Saint Maria Goretti, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mysterium Fidei. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Maria Goretti, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Stephen, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. 
et ipsum et cum ipso et in ipso, est tibi Deo Patri Omnipotenti, in unitate Spiritus Sancti, omnes honor et gloria, per omnia secula seculorum. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under us. Lord, I work and my soul shall be. The Lamb who is at the center of the throne will lead them to the springs of the waters of life. For those who cannot now receive Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, we offer the following prayer. O oh Jesus, I turn toward the Holy Tabernacle where you live hidden for love of me. I love you, O oh my God. I cannot now receive you in Holy Communion. Come, nevertheless, and visit me with your grace. Come spiritually into my heart. Purify it, sanctify it, render it like unto your own. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldst enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Amen. Thank you. 
Oremus. O God, who bestowed on blessed Maria Goretti a crown among the saints for her twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom, grant, we pray, through the power of this sacrament, that bravely overcoming every evil, we may attain the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Dominus Fobiscum, benedicat vos omnipotens Deus, Pater et Filius et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen. A Holy Day of Obligation is an important feast day in which Catholics are obliged by church law to attend Mass and abstain from unnecessary work. Some Holy Days, such as Christmas, are celebrated by the Universal Church. Others may be celebrated locally.
in my community, they didn't preach having a child was a good thing. But in retrospect, I was a part of the problem and I did it without thinking. I'm mad at myself. I'm trying to have a child now and I can't. I just know this whole thing about a woman's right to choose, in the end, it's not freedom, it's a prison. I shouldn't have never done it. Lord Jesus Christ, at your Last Supper, you prayed to the Father that all should be one. Send your Holy Spirit upon all who bear your name and seek to serve you. Strengthen our faith in you and lead us to love one another in humility. May we who have been reborn in one baptism be united in one faith under one shepherd. Amen. EWTN. Live Truth. Live Catholic. EWTN invites you to join us in this rosary as we pray for the shooting victims in Highland Park, Illinois. We offer this rosary for an end to violence and for an increase in every human heart of the awareness of the dignity of each and every human person. We pray for a growth in charity, respect, and peace among all peoples, bringing all of these intentions to God through the merits of the most precious blood of Jesus and the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Let us also pray for purity and chastity in our society. Let us now add our own personal intentions. The most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. For an increase in the virtues of faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The five glorious mysteries. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. We love this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our sins, and save us from us. From us. And lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. second glorious mystery, the Ascension. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, and is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from our and lead all souls to heaven, especially in those who are most in need of time with us. third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. He was us this day, our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in the most need of thy mercy. fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption of Mary into heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O 
my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in need of life. The fifth glorious mystery, the coronation of Our Lady. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us, now and at the hour. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, and now, and shall be, will without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fire of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweet, and our hope, to thee we cry for punish children of thee. To thee, do the sinner of our sides, more than we bring peace and salvation. Turn the hand, most gracious Africa, and thy eyes of mercy to us. And after this life, son, show to us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O friend, O Lord, O Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be liberated from the promises of the rest, 
Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation. Pray and beseech thee that we may take upon the beast of the wreath of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary. May we not to be the thick of the kingdom of the kingdom of the kingdom of the Through the same Christ our Lord. For the needs and the intentions of our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. And as it was in the beginning, and is it now, and ever shall be, glory be thou be in. Amen. The litany of the most precious blood of Jesus. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy on us. Christ have mercy on us. Lord have mercy on us. Lord have mercy on us. Christ hear us. Christ hear us. Christ graciously hear us. Christ graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven. Have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world. Have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God. Have mercy on us. The response is, save us. Blood of Christ, only begotten Son of the Eternal Father. Save us. Blood of Christ, incarnate Word of God. Save us. Blood of Christ of the New and Eternal Testament. Save us. Blood of Christ, falling upon the earth in the agony. Save us. Blood of Christ, shed profusely in the scourging. Save us. Blood of Christ flowing forth in the crowning with thorns. Save us. Blood of Christ poured out on the cross. Save us. Blood of Christ, price of our salvation. Save us. Blood of Christ, without which there is no forgiveness. Save us. Blood of Christ, Eucharistic drink and refreshment of souls. Save us. Blood of Christ, stream of mercy. Save us. Blood of Christ, victor over demons. Save us. Blood of Christ, courage of martyrs. Save us. Blood of Christ, strength of confessors. Save us. Blood of Christ, bringing forth virgins. Save us. Blood of Christ, help of those in peril. Save us. Blood of Christ, relief of the burdened. Save us. Blood of Christ, solace in sorrow. Save us. Blood of Christ, hope of the penitent. Save us. Blood of Christ, consolation of the dying. Save us. Blood of Christ, peace and tenderness of hearts. Save us. Blood of Christ, pledge of eternal life. Save us. Blood of Christ, freeing souls from purgatory. Save us. Blood of Christ, most worthy of all glory and honor. Save us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Grace to thee, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You have redeemed us, O Lord, in your blood. And make us the kingdom of all God. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, you have appointed your only begotten Son, the Redeemer of the world, and will to be appeased by his blood. Grant, we beg of you, that we may worthily adore this price of our salvation, and through its power be safeguarded from the evils of the present life, so that we may rejoice in its fruits forever in heaven, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
EWT. Live true. Live Catholic.